Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be another family grocery haul and meal plan for a family of five. So if you want to see what we've got for the week ahead and what we'll be eating, then keep watching. So before I get into this video, I have to say that as per the TMA guidelines, have worked with Tesco in the past. However, all of this shop has been bought with my own money. And also, sorry for the fact that I'm filming this a little bit differently than normal but when the food shop arrived I was in a rush I needed to get it put away so I couldn't do this normal intro so it is a different day however the shop and the meal plan that I'm going through at the end is exactly like the same and what we've actually eaten if that makes sense but without any more rambling and any further ado let's get into it. So starting over here we have a very important item a bottle of Isla Negra Sauvignon Blanc I actually brought this to make gravy with but obviously I will enjoy whatever is left then I got two of these so I've got a double strength apple and strawberry squash with no added sugar and then a double strength orange one as well and then we were running out of these items for the kitchen so I got some more of the pedal bin liners that my grandparents recommended for our bin and then also some foil just for like lining oven trays that kind of thing then over here I've got some tomato puree because we were running out and this one has added garlic which is quite handy. I've got two packs of gnocchi, a pack of fusilli pasta here as well. We have some Cajun seasoning and then some Dijon mustard here. I've got a tin of Lyle's golden syrup, the last one that I had leaked all over my spice cupboard so I'm going to keep a close eye on you friend. I have a bottle of light mayonnaise here just the Tesco's own version one. I got a pack of panko breadcrumbs, a tin of pineapple slices and then over here I have two pouches of the long grain rice, the microwavable ones that are really handy and quick to have in if you're making like egg fried rice dishes that kind of thing. These I'm really excited about. This is the Gran Lucito Mexican refried beans with smoky chipotle. I am going to make Huevos Rancheros for dinner for Mark and I tonight and these look like a bit of an upgrade from the Tesco refried beans that I normally get. They were on offer as well so that's why I bought them. Then over here we have some porridge oats because I'm going to make some um, flapjacks with Daisy in a bit actually. I have some corn tortilla wraps some mini breadsticks here and then some hickory smoked cheddar and crispy bacon crisps these are new and they're the walker sensation ones but they just sounded really good so i'm going to very much enjoy those later with some wine maybe and then we have some doritos lightly salted as well then over here these these didn't arrive like this this is my daughter um she was hungry and i said she could have one of these while i was doing this so she has had one these are the barney bear snacks and these are the milk sponge bears so these are the chocolate flavor one with the milky like filling then i've got two packs of these i've got the fruit hearts and the strawberry apple and orange stars the main reason why I've got lots of kids snacks this week is because Bill is actually starting a holiday club where he is going to put on a Greatest Showman performance. He saw the flyer and he really, really wanted to do it so we've decided to go on and let him do it but I need to send in a packed lunch every day with him and I need lots of easy snacks that like aren't too fiddly for him to get to himself and that kind of thing so I picked those up. Also got some brioche for that reason and the kids love it anyway and then I've also got some of these strawberry and banana bars as well. Then these aren't necessarily for the children. Look at these. These are chocolate and hazelnut filled cookies with like a hidden centre. I think you can see the gooey bit there. I saw these online and I had to try them and there's nothing more else I can say about that really. <laughs> I have some Peshwari naan breads here, some King's Mill 50-50 some whole piece of bread to have with hummus and that kind of thing some mini cheddars the 12 pack was on offer which is why i got those then over here i have a cheese and garlic pizza bread this is a frozen one and i'm going to use this to make a pizza with with the kids i have some corn mint here and then also some linda mccartney vegetarian sausages and then everything else is over here so here we have some honey roast ham this one was on offer so it's why i bought that one because it's better quality as well i got some pizza pepperoni slices for the pizza that i'm, that I'm going to make but I'm also going to do some puff pastry pinwheels with these as well. I have some cheese and garlic flatbread here. I've got some cheese and things. No, cheese and... No, string and things cheese string. Some tubes for Bill's pack lunches because they'll be easier and I won't lose every single teaspoon that I own that way, sending in with the normal yoghurt. I have some feta here. 
normal from our show yogurts as I've just mentioned. We've got some low fat creme fraiche, a massive tub of reduced fat hummus here as well. We've got some extra eggs. The milkman normally brings our eggs with our milk, but just got some extra ones because I'm doing whoever's run sharers, as I said, and I don't want to use them all up. I got some salted butter, some grana padano cheese, a big pack of the Cathedral City Mature Shadow because that was on offer. And then, as I mentioned, I'm going to do the puff pastry pinwheels. So this is the puff pastry that I've got. And then I've also got some phyllo pastry for another recipe. I have some celery here. Got six bananas, I think that was, that came to 92p. Some cocktail sausages, mainly for the kids. Baby bells, also for the kids. Some sprouts, because I really fancied them. Although you can tell it's not really the season for them, because they look a bit sad, don't they? Um, they were in the three for two. So I also got a few other things. And this was one of them. This is baby potatoes with herb butter. And these were actually in a recipe that I want to try. So that's why I started doing the three for two. And then the other thing that I was meant to get was spring greens but they've run out and so I have broccoli florets instead which is fine because we like broccoli but we also have more broccoli over there anyway but where was I I have some apples here I've got lemons I've got some grapes I also have two packs of raspberries and two packs of strawberries I have some Maris Piper potatoes those potatoes that I mentioned before two red onions, two limes, I've got more of the vine tomatoes because they're just really lovely, this cost me £2.08 and p. I have two loose garlic cloves and four loose carrots for recipes that I'm doing, that kind of thing got some peppers, spring onions and then three broccolis, these three broccolis cost me £1.73 altogether I have two cucumbers, I've got some butterhead salad some coriander and some parsley here and then two large avocados. I don't know if I've mentioned them, but that is everything for this week. So now on to the meal plan. Now I make my meal plans every week on my computer because I do online shopping. So I always have it open on my notes, so excuse me looking at my screen. But anyway, on Saturday, which is the day that the food shop actually came, we had Huevos Rancheros. It's one of my most favorite meals to make. Like I always forget about it. And then the minute I have it again, I'm like, ugh so so good it's basically an egg dish and it includes like refried beans and like a spicy tomato sauce it's just so so good i have a recipe of how i make it on my blog so if you want to refer to that if you want to give it a go then i will leave that link down below then on sunday we had toad in the hole with mash and veg it's just an oldie but a goodie i feel like the weather here at least where i live anyway in the uk which is further up north we always get like kind of worse weather i feel like it's turning more towards autumn now it might get a little bit warmer for a bit but i do feel like this sunny weather is coming to an end so it kind of felt like quite fitting to have on sunday because it was a right miserable day then on monday we had creamy broccoli gnocchi which was actually it was all right but i feel like it needed a few tweaks like for example i added less lemon because other people that reviewed the recipe has said that they didn't really like it it was too lemony i also added parmesan and i still felt like it was a little bit like lacking but if you want to try this one i would definitely add less lemon up your seasoning and add a bit of parmesan as well because it's much nicer then on tuesday we had a cajun corn and veg rice bowl now i found this recipe on the tesco website and it used like lean beef mint but we've been trying to like reduce how much meat we eat recently just because it's like something that we're personally interested in that kind of thing and um i decided to use corn instead and i went off track with this recipe a little bit because i just kind of thought it had a really good basis of something that would be quite nice but it was a bit like lacking in certain things like flavor and veg and that kind of thing so i did add extra veg and i topped it with like avocado and chopped up a chopped up fresh tomato which i did seeded and use that as a topping with some coriander and some lime and it was just way nicer i think with all of that rather than just what the recipe said so if you do make it um there's something to think about because um it does need pimping up a little bit then on wednesday we had leftover lentil dal with rice and non bread and the kids were actually it was like swimming lessons so it was all a bit hectic so they ate here instead and my mum kept an eye on them so i got like fresh pasta tortellini for them to have with carrot no cucumber sticks and dough balls so that's what they had the lentil dal 
I have it saved to the stories, um, like highlights on my Instagram. So if you want to head over there to see how I make that, then you can do. It's really, really good though. It's such a lovely way to like eat like a curry and like spice. And it's just so yummy. And Mark loves it. So we tend to go towards that one quite a lot at the moment when we fancy a curry. And then on Thursday, which is today, we're going to have potato and goat cheese phyllo tart. This is another recipe that I've never tried before, but I just thought it sounded really good with like a side salad or like some veg on, on the side, something like that. And and then at Friday, which brings us to like a whole week, we are actually not going to be eating at home because we're not going to be here. Bill has been doing a Greatest Showman holiday club all week and they basically go in and they learn like the songs from the show, they're doing like dance moves and lines and stuff like that and then on Friday night they do a performance for like friends and family members which I'm really really excited about and he's so excited. He is one of the like kind of circus people but um yeah he's one of them so he's really really pleased about that and just so excited to to be a part of it so we're gonna go and watch him but then straight after that we are actually going to a 30th birthday party of one of our friends with all the kids as well so we're gonna be eating there and like having a few drinks and having fun and then staying over in a hotel together as a family so it's a little bit different but it should be a really really good day and yeah that is that is it in a nutshell I've also left some like ideas in the description bar for like lunch and meals for the kids throughout the week because obviously it still is the summer holidays but you can have a look at those if you fancy it and what we ate and what we've been eating that kind of thing but yeah I hope you've enjoyed this video let me know down in the comments below if there are any recipes that you've been loving at the moment and any that you can suggest for me I've got a couple more foodie videos coming up soon which I hope you will enjoy so don't forget to subscribe if you are new and you want to see those but other than that have a lovely day whatever you're up to or evening whatever you're up to and I will hope Hopefully see you very soon. Bye!